Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk to you today about Joseph's dungeon. Now, Joseph was 17 years old when he was sold into slavery by his brothers. We're not told exactly how long he served Potiphar or exactly how long he was in prison. However, we know from the butler or cupbearer that it was at least two years Joseph was in prison. So we just want to set the stage. Joseph is betrayed by his brothers and sold into slavery in a foreign country. He knows no one. He's alone. Right there would have been enough for most of us. We would collapse and fall apart and blame God and blame everyone else. We would give up and just hope to die, get it over with. But Joseph had God. He wasn't really alone. He knew this, and he stayed faithful to God. He worked at what he could. He took the opportunities God set before him, even when he couldn't know the outcome. But here is the chief butler remembering Joseph to Pharaoh finally. When Pharaoh had a dream he could not understand and was asking for interpretation. Genesis chapter 41 verses 12 through 14. And this is the uh, the uh, butler or cupbearer speaking. Now there was a young Hebrew man with us there, a servant of the captain of the guard. And we told him and he interpreted our dreams for us. To each man he interpreted according to his own dream. And it came to pass, just as he interpreted for us, so it happened. He restored me to my office, and he hanged him. Now here, the cupbearer is mentioning that he was restored to his office, and that the chief baker, who was also in the dungeon with him, was executed. Probably both of these men had been under suspicion for some reason, and... Pharaoh found out who the guilty party was, and he got rid of him, whereas the butler here was innocent, so he was brought back into the household. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him quickly out of the dungeon, and he shaved, changed his clothing, and came to Pharaoh. Notice Joseph's condition was not overly nice. He had to be cleaned up and made presentable. So he may not have been in the worst dungeon, but he was still in a dungeon in a prison. Genesis chapter 41, verses 15 and 16, just the next few verses down. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I have had a dream and there is no one who can interpret it. But I have heard it said of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. So Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It's not in me. God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Joseph takes no credit. He's humble and gives God the credit. God gave Joseph the interpretation, and he shared that with Pharaoh, warning Pharaoh about the famine to come. Verse 46 says, Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now, he had been enslaved in this foreign country when he was 17, or about 17. He was also wrongly imprisoned in the dungeon for at least two years. If anyone had justification to be angry and bitter, to withhold helpful information, it was Joseph. He could have responded differently. He could have asked God to let them all die. He could have let hatred burn and rage in him. But he didn't. Instead, he offered what he could in service. He shared God's blessing of knowledge and wisdom. And see here how he was rewarded. Genesis chapter 41 again. Verses 39 through 44. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since your God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and clear-headed and wise as you are. You shall have charge over my house, 
and all my people shall be governed according to your word and pay respect to you with reverence, submission, and obedience. Only in matters of the throne will I be greater than you in Egypt. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you in charge over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took off his signet ring from his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and dressed him in official vestments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. He had him ride in his second chariot and runners proclaimed before him, Attention, bow the knee, and he set him over all the land of Egypt. Moreover, Pharaoh said to Joseph, Though I am Pharaoh, yet without your permission shall no man raise his hand to do anything or set his foot to go anywhere in all the land of Egypt. All classes of people shall submit to your authority. We all need to escape our dungeon, but we need to make sure we do not imprison ourselves with resentment and bitterness over our circumstances. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.